Hello, this is Dr. Stephanie, the founder of Your Healing Place, the author of the From Panic to Empowerment books, moving you from panic to empowerment in every aspect of your wellness journey, just one concept at a time. Today's video, we're gonna talk about a word that we hear all the time. It's used almost in every aspect of health, and I wanna know if you understand what it means. So what's the word? The word is simply wellness. Do you know what wellness is? Do you know how to achieve it? What does it look like? What does it feel like? That's today's video. So let's get started. Wellness is not just the absence of disease. Wellness is a continuum of healing that encompasses your spirit, your mind, and your body. A lot of people think that wellness is just about your cardiovascular fitness, your endurance, or even your strength. And that's a part of wellness, but it's not the whole picture. Wellness is really about your vitality, your joie de vivre, or how you're able to live out your life with a sense of uh, openness to your environment, a sense of um, connectedness to your relationships, and a sense of overall groundedness in your spirit. So essentially, wellness is how are you doing spiritually, how are you doing mentally, and how are you doing physically. All of that together, if balanced, would be your ultimate definition of wellness. So let's break apart the pieces. Your mental or your spiritual and your physical wellness has three separate individual components. They work interchangeably together, and when one is off, the other two will be off. You might not always know it, but it is. So let's start with the first one, your spirit. Your spirit is the most important aspect of your wellness because your spirit has a lot to do with your emotional self. Your spirit's language to you how it communicates with you is your emotions. And if your emotions aren't doing so well, then it will have an effect on your thinking. And your mental state eventually will have an effect on your physical well-being. So let's break them out and let's just talk about it. So from a spiritual perspective, your emotional state is how you feel. Your sadness, your sense of grief, your joy, your excitement, your exhaustion, your frustration, all of that has to do with your spiritual well-being. When those things are overwhelming in your life, then you will said to have been an experience of spiritual unrest. <laughs> and we all know what spiritual unrest feels like. It's an agitation that makes you not be able to sleep well, you're irritable, you, you can't focus, you're just kind of all over the place. The best way to get connection, to get a connectedness to your spiritual self is to just sit quiet and listen. Just listen. What is your spirit speaking? What is it trying to tell you? What is it saying and are you listening? I sat quite purposely just to give you an opportunity for a few moments to connect and resonate with what I just said. The reason why I paused is because life is so fast. We don't always have an opportunity to just sit quiet and resonate with what our spirit is trying to communicate. Often it looks something like this. You're going on about your day, you have this insight about something you should be doing and you don't do it and a couple of hours later, you hear yourself go, oh, something told me, and I didn't. And what does that do? That breeds frustration. And that frustration can breed anxiety, and that anxiety can breed fear. So emotions double on themselves, and they become compounded. That creates spiritual unrest. When your spirit is not rested, then your mind is cloudy and confused. And eventually your body is going to start experiencing some challenges. So let's switch gears to what happens when you feel mentally out of space. And when I say out of space, I mean that specifically because 
when we are not mentally in tune with our present experience, then what'll happen is you'll be confused and nothing will seem like it's fitting in your life. The confusion can manifest in headaches, it can manifest in chaos or even clutter. Have you ever heard? The environment that you live in is a reflection of your mind. So if your environment is all clutter and you're finding that you can't think, you can't focus, you're not getting anything done, that means your mind is clouded. A cloudy mind has everything to do with back down to your spirit, your emotions, because when your emotions are unsettled, then you're all up in your head thinking all about the worst case scenario. And those worst case scenarios, again, breeds those negative emotions and it becomes a vicious loop. And so that's a way to be unwell. Now, going to the gym, which is your body component, will help release the stress, give you some feel good endorphins, but going to the gym and not addressing your spiritual health or your mental health is not the fix. When you wanna be well, wellness is all about integrating all three components. Now, it might seem difficult to do, and it can be, because you may not always be aware of the emotional state that you're in. Anger could really be fear. Yeah. And fear can really be a component of grief. All of it is the absence of love because every emotion that's not love creates an aberration in the spirit. So when you wanna be well, consider your emotional state and then think about what you're thinking about <laughs> and become your own uh, reflective emotional spiritual mirror. You can think about what you're thinking about and that's called mindfulness. Mindfulness just says that you are aware of your thoughts, you can pinpoint where they've come from, and you decided that you needed to make a change based on that awareness. Now again, that might not be easy for you to do, but what could be easy for you to do is go and take a walk, or do some exercise, or do some yoga, and that is a way to create an integrative experience, spirit, mind, and body, but it's only temporary. So the reason why I wanted to give you the definition of wellness is to get you thinking about your wellness journey. Your wellness journey could look like a great salad, good meals, restful sleep, taking your supplements. But you might be saying to yourself, but I still don't feel completely whole. And I still don't feel that wellness that everybody say is possible. So what I'd like to propose to you is that you connect with me as your wellness coach. Because you can't do wellness alone. It's not a destination, it's a journey. It's a lifestyle. And in order to embark on that lifestyle, you need support. You need support because you don't know what you don't know. There are very specific techniques and tools and technology that I use to help you get to that wonderful integrative self that you're capable of experiencing, which is what is actually wellness. So I know we're at the end of 21 and 22 is just around the corner. Wouldn't it be nice if you can start off the new year a couple of months ahead of the game instead of waiting for a new year's resolution, but to embark on your wellness journey, just a little bit of nudge at a time to get you used to the idea of living wellness in its entirety. Because wellness really is a lifestyle. It is a lifestyle that requires dedication, emotional support, spiritual support, techniques and tools, accountability, and a whole system to get you connected with the best of who you can be. So I challenge you, if you've been thinking about wellness and you like to embark on a wellness journey not just here and there not just taking a few herbs and you know getting your gym membership and maybe you know reading a good book but really settling into what wellness could be for you then i invite you to connect with me and be a part of the elite 25 it's those are the members that i connect with 
and the coaching modules, which includes a 303 page workbook that you and I work together, in addition to reading the From Panic to Empowerment book, and the Evox technology, the hair tissue analysis, and all those wonderful things that you've come to know about wellness that includes herbs, vitamins, minerals, homeopathics. So this is a comprehensive experience that I know that once you jump on, you'll be so glad that you did because you will finally have been able to embark on your personal wellness journey, moving you in the direction of wellness that you always thought was possible but you can never access. So I invite you to join me. Just fill out the little square thingy below. <laughs> Actually, it's a sign up form. Fill out the sign up form and then you and I will have a one on one conversation and then we'll get started. One of the things that you'll notice is that the process is intense, but it's a lot of fun. And making mistakes in faux pas is part of the problem because guess what? There's nothing wrong with you just the way you are. There's nothing that needs to be changed about you for you to get the life that you so richly deserve. All you need is support of understanding of where you are, where you like to be, and throwing out what's in the middle that's in the way that's stopping you from being the best that you can be. I can help you do that. I look forward to connecting with you and supporting you on your wellness journey. This is Dr. Stephanie, the founder of Your Healing Place, moving you from panic to empowerment, just one coaching session at a time, getting you to your ultimate goal of wellness. Be well.